Explore Logs is a new app for both the open source and cloud versions of Grafana that lets us browse and visualize our log data without having to use LogQL code. Here's our senior software engineer on the Loki team, Trevor Whitney, talking us through the work that he's done on the Explore Logs app and how to use it. Okay, so this is play.grafana.org. So this is a um, sort of demo like sample um, Grafana instance that anyone can access. So you can go here um, and you can play around um, with Grafana features. And so here is the explore section that we were talking about. So the top level explore, this is gonna be your traditional code and low code um, experience. And then each of these apps is going to be the uh, no code experience. Um, and so we'll go to logs. And so the first thing that you see is a um, list of um, services. So one of the new features that um, we rolled out in our latest um, Loki, I think it landed in 3.2, it might be in 3.1 as well, but I know for sure it's in 3.2 is this service detection um, where we are going to try and define a service uh, for each log stream that comes in. And so you can either specify that yourself by setting the service name um, label, or we're going to use a list of labels to pick from. And I don't remember what that is off the top of my head. Um, it may be in docs. Um, I can find that um, asynchronously and post that later. Uh, but uh, here are some examples of services that it found. And so it's going to show you the um, a histogram of the log volume um, by uh, well, volume in terms of count, so uh, count of log lines um, by level, as well as a sample of the log lines um, next to there. So when I find a service that I care about, so let's say I'm going to go in here into this ingester. Um, so then I get a bigger version of that same histogram, and I can select a smaller time range, um, and then these are the log lines for that time range. Um, if I want to search within these log lines, I can do that here. Um, and so that's going to find maybe just the log lines that are match my string that I'm looking for. Uh, and like here, we notice the histogram change. So none of these log lines, for example, are erroring. Uh, I can get rid of that, go back to this full view. I can also drill into specific labels. Uh, so, for example, maybe I know that um, there was a problem in prod. So I'm going to go here and I can hit include prod. Um, and so that's going to um, now if I go back to my logs view, this is only logs coming from the prod environment. Um, another thing that we can then do is fields. So fields represent um, the um, sort of field, uh, the label value pairs that are present in structured log lines. Uh, so this may be a log formatted log line or a JSON formatted log line. Uh, we are going to automatically detect the type, um, if any, uh, of your log lines. We're going to parse out the fields and then we're going to parse out the values. So for example, maybe I was, um, I got a page because of um, some sort of like uh, max size of uh, of a trace or something like that for a certain tenant. So um, of course I, I picked Tempo, the service I don't work on. Um, which, uh, you know, it's good. It shows that anyone right can navigate any logs. Uh, but let but but now that I'm seeing that there's a bunch trace too large, I'm realizing that's a bad example. So let's say I was got a a page about something related to getting uh, items from the cache, and so I can go ahead and include that message. Um, and now, you know, I can see like, oh, maybe like I'm seeing a lot more error. Yeah, look, so this is all errors now. Um, so I've narrowed it down using the detected field of this message and go back to these logs. And now I'm sort of like able to, to drill into this. And maybe the thing I care about is like fetching these IP addresses or something like that. Um, and then the last tab that we have here is the one that I was, uh, commenting is enabled by that pattern ingester, right? Yeah, so all of these patterns are specific to explore logs and um, are, are produced by the pattern ingester. So, um, and we also have added pattern support to the query language. So if you come in here, you can add one of these patterns um, to the um, 
to the actual query and filter log lines based down uh, on that pattern only. The pattern ingester logic is solely for the purpose of um, producing this page. Um, and the tokenization, as you can see here, is we look for, in it, we, we, we pass all the log lines through a drain algorithm um, for um, the pattern ingester here. And we try to pull out high cardinality values. So things like, you know, the timestamp and then these sort of like version, old vert, like these things change a lot per log line, but then these level debug, like, so, so basically what we're finding here is there is a broadcast.go whenever it uh, emits this message, um, it's sort of always at a lot level debug, right? It's always from this file. And then there's these pieces that change per uh, log line. But if you were looking for something like, um, I mean, maybe this one's a better example where it's like, I'm again, I was looking for those uh, memcache errors. Uh, maybe I don't care the specific text of the error message, or I don't care about the specific timestamp, but I want to find all of my failed to get keys from memcache. Uh, and so I can include that. There we go. So now we're only getting these um, failed to get keys from memcache errors. So this pattern has now been added to the actual query um, and filtered down. And now and this is maybe a bad case, right? Because I also have this message here. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, so patterns might have been a quicker way to get to sort of log lines with that message um, because we have this nice sort of view of like um, how, what percent of my logs are, are this pattern, right? Um, and so, you know, in this time range, 14% of my logs were this error message. Um, so that's sort of the usefulness of patterns. That was a snippet from a Loki community call that I did with a bunch of my colleagues, including Trevor, all about Explore Logs. If you want to know more, then click on this video to watch the whole thing.